Our immune system has evolved to fend off things that can make us sick, like bacteria, viruses, and parasites. These pathogens are actively involved in an arms race to hide from our immune cells. The cells labeled in green are a key part of the immune system arsenal. They're called T cells. As they move through tissues in the body, they identify pathogens and kill them. Here, the parasite is labeled red. Penn researchers studied how T cells moved when they were searching for parasites. They tracked T cells in these videos of brain tissue infected with Toxoplasma gondii, the parasite that causes toxoplasmosis. Analyzing the tracks, the Penn team realized that the cells were not moving in a directed way toward the parasites. One hypothesis was that the T cells moved through the tissues like drunken sailors who pick a random direction every time they take a step. But when the scientists analyzed the cells' movements, they didn't fit that mathematical model. Researchers decided to try a model similar to how sharks and other animals track down their prey. In this model, the T cells take mainly small steps, but they can occasionally take long steps. This model didn't fit either, but a closely related model did, in which the T cell pauses after each step. Here's the track of one model T cell, the green ball. It makes short and long movements with short and long pauses interspersed. Other animals appear to move in a similar way, like sea turtles and penguins hunting prey, and even honeybees foraging for food. The researchers say this strategy provides a more efficient way to find rare targets than the drunken sailor strategy.